I just received an advice that my previous painting with the campfire looks messy. And yeah, it is. So I decided to study further about this topic and I came across this video on YouTube by Mr. Eric Healin of Cafe Watercolor teaching how to do the loose watercolor painting and I learned so much. But that doesn't mean I perfected it already. So for the next fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is saffron, I will try again to do the loose watercolor painting. In doing the loose watercolor painting, you must analyze your subject, the values and specifically considering what do you want to include and what do you want to leave out. And also, according to Eric's vlog, in doing a loose watercolor, it is not necessarily doing it fast, but rather choosing on doing fewer actions. Again, let the water and the pigment do some of the work for you. I was supposed to do different watercolor painting technique, but I must say that I enjoy doing the loose watercolor painting. If you're enjoying watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get instant notification. Please also follow me in my Instagram account. To be honest, I do not consider that this is a loose watercolor painting at all since I can't contain myself doing the details. I actually enjoyed doing both. I'm glad that I found Eric's watercolor tutorial so I can learn and practice doing it even more. Learning a new skill or improving it requires repetition, will, and determination. For you to master such a thing, it also means to suffer long enough for you to grow. With that being said, let's talk about the next fruit of the Holy Spirit. Long suffering literally means to suffer for a very long time. Long suffering deals with people more than it does with situations. There is a difference between patience and long suffering. 
Patience means endurance in trials and circumstances. In contrast, long-suffering means to suffer with people for a very, very long time. The plant that exemplifies long-suffering is saffron. Saffron powder is used in perfumes and medicines. Do you know that it takes stigmas from about 4,000 flowers to make one ounce of saffron powder? So we can see that it is also very costly. This is a fruit that was developed to a very high degree in the life of the Apostle Paul. Paul himself testified that God had made him a pattern of long-suffering in order to be a source of encouragement to all those who followed him. We need the fruit of long-suffering work out in our lives because it is long-suffering that causes people to turn around. Long-suffering is very costly fruit. There is a big price to pay to have this fruit develop in our lives. However, it is this fruit that eventually wins people to the Lord.